Tonight, a CBS 2 News exclusive outrage over the money that's being paid to the wife of the accused Gilgo Beach serial killer Rex Yorman. That outrage has prompted a potential new law. Two new bills aim to amend Son of Sam laws to prevent family members from profiting off crimes. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff explains. Christmas decor hangs from the Rex Huerman house, but no sign of the film crew that followed Asa Ellerip to his latest court appearance. The suspected serial killer's estranged wife is getting paid, reportedly seven figures, by a Peacock TV docu-series. The deal prompted outrage. Shannon Gilbert's sister said she was disappointed, disgusted, flabbergasted, outrage that spread to Albany. The amount of money that's being thrown here while victims' families get nothing is just horrible and they're just exploiting their pain for profit. Senator Kevin Thomas says his bill closes a loophole in the Son of Sam law. The same bill is in the assembly. Why should the family or the former spouse uh, profit from this crime either. You know, it's an insult, I think, to the victims. The decades old son of Sam Law blocked criminals like killer David Berkowitz from profiting off of their crimes. It was ruled unconstitutional and amended. Victims are now notified of movie and book deals so they can sue for profits. The new bills would expand the law to include defendants' relatives, a move applauded by victims' attorney John Ray. She's a ghoul and she's feeding on the dead by uh, using their memory and, and the circumstances that her husband caused and she may have a part in. The bills prompted this comment from Ellerup's attorney. It's a sad day in America when people are willing to trample on the Constitution to get press coverage. The next thing they'll attempt is to control media coverage. Hofstra law professor Fred Klein. To the extent that the law is going to apply to a family member who may not have done anything wrong, you've probably got a significant First Amendment problem there. A Peacock spokesperson tells CBS New York Ellerup was not paid for her participation, but was paid a licensing fee for use of her archive materials, which cannot go to Huerman or his defense. If passed, the bill would take effect immediately, which could impact the Ellerup case. On Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Peacock also says it reached out to all of the victims' families to appear in the documentary, all of whom did not respond or said no.